What do you do when your car starts, sputters, and dies, leaving you stranded in the dark? It's a moment of pure dread. No tools, no garage, just you and a problem that needs to be solved right now. A tow truck feels inevitable, and the repair bill is already adding up in your head. That's exactly the situation I found myself in. My 2010 Honda Odyssey, with almost 170,000 reliable miles, suddenly wouldn't stay running. I was stuck, but panicking doesn't fix cars. Thinking does. In a situation like this, your mind is your most powerful tool. So how do you diagnose an engine stall on the spot and get yourself out of trouble? Let's break it down. Every engine runs on three basic things: air, fuel, and spark. We know we have spark because the engine was trying to start. We can hear it ignite. Fuel is tough to check on the street at night. That leaves air. The air filter was clean, but the way the engine shut down felt like it was being suffocated. My suspicion immediately fell on the mass airflow sensor, or MAF. This little sensor is a gatekeeper. It tells the car's computer exactly how much air is coming into the engine. If it sends bad data, saying there is way too much or too little air, the computer will shut the engine down to protect it. It's a common failure point on many vehicles. So here is the emergency trick. I unplugged the MAF sensor completely. The first time I started it, it died again. But on the second attempt, it stayed running. Here's why that works. On the first try, the computer was still using the last bad data it had stored. By the second try, it realized the sensor was gone, and switched to a backup plan or limp mode. It starts estimating airflow based on other sensors. It's not perfect, but it was enough to safely move the van off the street. No tow truck, no waiting in the dark. The van was safe, but the check engine light was on. To be hundred percent sure before buying parts, I needed to read the diagnostic codes. This is where a good OBD2 scanner is your best friend. For this job, I'm using Topdown AD500. I've been testing this scanner, and for DIYer, it's a fantastic value. For about one thirty dollars, it diagnoses the four most important systems: engine, transmission, ABS, and SRS on over sixty car brands. Crucially, it comes with free lifetime updates, so you are not paying a subscription fee every year. It's a tool you buy once. Now. As I go to scan the engine, you will see something interesting. Watch this. Instead of engine, it says PGM FI. Now, if you are not a Honda veteran, that could be confusing. This is a great example of how the scanner uses the original manufacturer's terminology. PGM FI stands for Programmed Fuel Injection. It's what Honda called its engine control systems back when they were transitioning from carburetors. It's a cool piece of history, but something DIYers should be aware of when using this tool. And there they are, codes confirming the faults for both the mass airflow and the intake air temperature sensor, which are built into one unit on this van. Our roadside diagnosis was spot on. For critical sensors, I always recommend using the original OEM port if you can. For testing, I put in an aftermarket unit, and it has been working for about a month. I will continue to update you in the comment below until it fails. The replacement is simple: just a couple of screws and a connector. Disconnect battery negative to be safe, but I skip this step. Locate MAF on intake tube. Unplug the connector, remove the two screws,
out with the old and in with the new. Plug in the connector, but we are not done yet. We need to verify the fix. With the new sensors in, I'm using live data stream to monitor the car's performance. We're looking at the MAF reading, intake air temperature, and the fuel trims. And here is another example of that unique labeling. The long-term fuel trim is labeled AF Happy AVE or Air Fuel Feedback Average. Again, technically correct, but most scanners just say long-term fuel trim. Bank one. This is the main feedback I have for top down. Using more standardized terms will make an already great tool even more intuitive for the average user. But as you can see, our new math is reading a steady gram per second flow at idle. The intake air temperature matches the ambient air, and our fuel terms are stable. The throttle is responsive again. Problem solved. That night could have been a major hassle, but instead of panicking, we used logic. We broke the problem down to its basics: air, fuel, spark, and used that reasoning to get to safety. The scanner confirmed what our intuition told us. Remember, you already own the two most important tools for any repair: your knowledge and your creativity. A great scanner like the AD500 empowers that knowledge, but it starts with you. Stay calm, think through the problem, and you will be amazed at what you can solve, even in the dark. If Professor can do it, you can do it. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and give you peace. Stay dirty, stay safe.